So for the scaphoid view, it is 15 degrees towards the elbow. And do it like that. And then straighten this thing out. What you would do is put your wrist kind of like this, and then you would do kind of like an ulnar deviation. And because the angle of it is coming this way, that's gonna open up that joint space to see this uh, scaphoid. You can kind of put your marker kind of like right there, but the, you're gonna get the same relationship between the, the x-ray beam and the patient anatomy. If we just put this to um, zero degrees, this will give you that 15 degree angle. So it's easier just to move this instead of moving the entire thing. So this is why I like to do it like this the image receptor kind of at a angle, and then we just keep a perpendicular beam. So that makes it easy. We would do the same thing, which would be ulnar deviation, kind of center in that little snuff box, oops, snuff box area. And then that'll give you a nice open view of the scaphoid.